So chromaticity, color shift, contrast ratio. Look at all this stuff we're learning really quickly, right? Gloss is, an, is the next one. Gloss, we don't have to do a, a in-room test on this, but you can understand just based on the slide, hopefully. Gloss is whether that surface is matte or mirror-like in terms of reflection. For projection, we want what? Which side of the equation? Matte. We want matte because we want the screen, hopefully like this type of pattern, to be able to diffuse reflect the light, which means it's going off onto all the angles we want to see, versus this black and blue angle right here, which is the mirror-like side of it, which is that. You'll end up with a hot spot. So in general, I think the projection side of the industry has done very, very well in terms of making all surfaces matte where appropriate and all, all surfaces matte that are available for sale. Just always look for that in a projection system. So the easy answer may sometimes be, okay, I'm gonna do a very, very basic projection setup and I'm gonna paint on the wall and that's gonna be my screen. If that's the case for you, that's the case. But if you do that, if you use a high gloss paint, you're gonna automatically interfere with the projection system. If you use just a marker board for ultra short throw or standard projection, you're gonna end up with a very glossy surfaces. So for projection standards, a gloss number that's under 30 means it's matte. I can reassure you and tell you that all daylight surfaces meet this type of standard. And some of them are very, very low, especially the lower gain surfaces.